developing stillness. Sit quietly in a comfortable chair with your hands palm up. Close your eyes. Take three slow, deep breaths. And each time you breathe out, feel your physical body relaxing more and more. Mukul kliki salaka jira sara kodiakya. Akul kukul lakasa takoze mitakasa. Yikoku kli sidi si kolaki sidi sada betakoiliki. Akaka lakasi tikasa makoya. Feel your physical body. Your flesh and blood physical body seem to dissolve. And know that you are soul, timeless and eternal. That soul self of you eternally is like a shining light, the light of your core star, the light of of your soul and the body is the true essence and energy of the authentic you. Your core star holds many vibrations. It is the composite energy of all that you are and have ever been. Put your hands now on the core star, just below the diaphragm and above the navel, in the region of the solar plexus chakra. And feel into these vibrations that are deep within you, deep within your soul, and what they are telling you. Our soul will always guide us. We just have to let it by taking the time to go within and to sit in stillness. Feel, feel into your soul. Take note of the vibrations, the energy that you're feeling into.
May the love of God come into the space, into our minds and into our hearts. In the stillness, let the word of God speak so that we might hear and come into the presence. Ask your soul, the voice of your heart, what it has to say to you now. Kukaliki salakoshi to Kiesitia. Amukode salakoliki kalisia. A kala 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 kala. Miki kalakishi de sesukuya. A kala 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 kala. Now just like throwing a stone into the still, clear lake of your soul. Surrender now and go deeper into just being. Cause your body to feel it no longer exists and that you are pure and timeless soul. And as you surrender to the universe, to all that is, we wash away the old to begin the new. And the beautiful symphony of the soul is restored to its pristine essence and energy. And its true melody true beauty. Mukoklishi is a simukurishti. Akakli katitikazapa lukadasta kulibidishti. Akala katitis a bit to kola kala 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 Matia, Matia, Matia.
you are loved and you are blessed. Now and forever. And so it is. everybody and we definitely are one and what a privilege to be with you tonight I'm speaking to you from Manhattan New York in this lovely apartment that's been led to me by Bob and I want to thank Bob very much so here we are let's begin with a prayer and welcome to all of you wherever you are around the world I'm going to say this Mary prayer. It's the prayer that Mary gave to me 22 years ago on a beach in New Zealand. And it's really the prayer of new beginning. And what's really happening to us now is that we're approaching this really important time of new beginning, which is 2020 and beyond. And 2019 has been a year of very much getting ready. So let's begin with the prayer. May the love of God come into the space, into our minds and into our hearts. In the stillness, let the word of God speak so that we might hear and come into the presence. Be at peace, be at peace, be at peace. May all those beings of light and love from the many mansion worlds of God join together with us now to support us all on our journey. And our journey is the path of soul merging into human form and the light and authenticity of our soul finally coming home as we come home to our soul. So let's begin by setting an intention, all of us, that we join our hearts and our minds with beyond the beyond, with God, with source, with, with all that is. And we join our energies, our heart and our mind together with everybody who's on the call tonight as one. It's one global family. And I truly feel blessed to be part of this global family and thank you for being here. So this prayer that I want to say here, you can say with me. It's written on the sheet with the affirmations for the beautiful program, which you won't be able to read because it's reversed, but I'm going to read it to you. And I want you just to say this along with me. With the power of God that I am, I open my heart mind in your heart chakra into the mind of the infinite all, God mind. I activate a connection between my heart mind and the heart of God, source, all that is. And just imagine a platinum silver light going from your heart chakra to God mind at the heart of the 22 galaxies that collectively creates a creation energy matrix in this part of the universe. So what we're really doing here is we're connecting with a more expanded God creation energy, and we're going to be transmitting energies of platinum diamond light, ultralight, energies which are designed to activate, to wake us up, and to transform us. So quite exhausted, a little bit down. On the 15th, July, 15th of July, I wrote in my little red book, what is the path of the soul has traveled? And Spirit said to me this, there is a need for you to understand much about the soul and the soul's coming into physical form. Within your soul and the body, the core star, which is down here, the core star is the core soul's light, 
So within the core star, the core soul's vibration in the body is that reflection, that vibration of the core star is reflected out through every part of human existence, through our consciousness, through our mind, through our body. And the purpose of ascension, they told me, is to merge the body mind, our physical body and our human consciousness with the soul mind, which is the true authentic soul vibration that we get an inkling of the soul vibration when we put our hand here on the, on the solar plexus chakra here, where the core star is. But the core star is dimensionally really deep within our being like this. So this vibration of who we are becomes literally part of us. And it's like, it's like, a, um, like a musical symphony, really. And all of the core soul notes, notes of our being have been playing through us through a long time. We have unfortunately identified with the rough stuff, the karmic miasmic patterning, which is part of our souls coming into our physical form, part of our soul vibration. But what we're going to be experiencing now, and I feel beginning tonight, is the accessing of the more expanded, the more enlightened, the more enriched, the wise part of our soul, and beginning to anchor that into our human physical body and into our human consciousness. So when I went to Bali, spirit began to tell me that the purpose of ascension is to merge the body mind with the soul mind, which is the true authentic soul vibration of love, beauty, joy, and light. This merging back into the light of the I am, the I am presence, which is the true authenticity of the soul, is the path of the soul is traveled. It's, it's not so much a merging back into the soul, it's rather that the soul's authentic light is anchoring more completely into us. And I said to Spirit, okay, what do you mean by the path of the soul less traveled? What does that mean? And they said, because not everybody is able to walk this path. Most people in their lifetime, in their human lifetime, get consumed by living out their human drama and their identification with who they are as a personality. And what is required is that we begin to see ourselves, the bigger picture of life, and we begin to see ourselves as an eternal soul and understand that this time on the planet, as we, particularly as we move towards 2020, is a time of great advancement. Great in 2019, it's been for many people, a time of sifting out the dross to prepare for the new. So when Spirit said this to me on the 15th of July, they said, the path of ascension, ascending while remaining in the human body in a human form, is the path of the soul less traveled. And all of you are walking that path with me. And we're going to be walking it tonight because we're going to be bringing through energy transmissions to help you anchor that beauty and authenticity of soul so that you don't have this, the confusion, the anxiety, the stress that you may feel, like I certainly felt in Bali, um, about what is it I'm supposed to be doing and how do I do it? So Spirit said, they went on to say, the path of the soul is traveled. It's the path of reestablishing that connection to soul and allowing that soul self to shine through. The process begins with the beautiful program. And recently I created a program way back in, I think, May, called Beautiful, which is what we're also going to be talking about today, because Beautiful is the first time I've ever used these ultralight, ultralight energies, which are really source new creation energy coming from beyond the beyond. And the thing about ultralight, it is said to me by spirit that this is a completely different kind of energy from a completely different kind of energy spectrum very different to the electromagnetic spectrum which we know of as uh like a waveform starting with long radio waves going all the way up to very fast ultraviolet and gamma waves Alt the uh electromagnetic spectrum flows at the speed of light but this ultralight spectrum that spirit began to tell me about is different it is coming from much further deeper into space it is coming from the heart of the diamond from the heart of god of all that is it's specifically 
being open and activated now uh, to come through to us as part of our ascension process. And it creates alchemy. Alchemy is like a complete change of state, which is immediate and permanent. So no longer will we have to go through so much of the karmic release that we've all been going through for a very long time, because these energies are almost instantaneous. And the results and how we feel is almost instantaneous. So this is really good news. So let's experience some of this energy and see what we feel. I'm going to just stand up now and tilt the screen. There we are. I'm going to drink a bit of water because water is really important for the conduction of energy. And we're linking in now to beyond the beyond. I've been here in New York for the New Life Expo. And what I've noticed over the weekend is that I appear to be bringing energy differently than I have before. And I'm going to ask you soon what you're experiencing and to maybe write it in the chat box and then I have a quick look. But this is energy which is beyond words sometimes. So I'm just being guided now to do what spirit want me to do. And what they say they want everybody to do is to put your hands on your heart chakra and begin to bring through some energy which is going to open the heart. And we bring that in. I'll just sit down. So I want you just to write in the chat box if you experienced anything, maybe different when I brought that NG in. Because what you should be feeling is a tingling, a vibration, a sense of peace, of somehow coming home to self. When I went to Bali and I thought I was going to be writing the book, I began to listen to the energy tracks from the beautiful program. There's five sets of recordings. There's five recordings, actually. And they're designed to be initially listened to over five weeks. This is to set an, a very important set of energy grids into the body, into, into the mind, into consciousness. So that from here on in, after that, every time you listen, it, it actually gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Well, being me, I push the envelope. So I didn't listen to it like I tell everybody to listen to it because I know it's quite detoxing that's very strong. Okay. So... I listen to them at times, three times in one day, which is quite a lot. And I certainly went through a great deal of karmic detoxing, which now I know is a really good thing because I feel pretty amazing. But at the time, I did not feel pretty amazing. And if you go into the library uh, and you do look at the beautiful program, this is my Ascension Library because it's added to the Ascension Library from today, if you go into the Ascension Library at ascensionlibrary.org, you can it, it, try it out for yourself. And you can also read my story more because I wrote a blog about it uh, to help other people understand that as we go through these processes of change, it does take a bit of courage sometimes to walk this path of the soul less travel because we do need to release a lot before we can bring in the light uh, that is now transforming us in a much stronger and more powerful way. So this is just showing you where the beautiful program sits in the Ascension Library. This is what I wrote. Okay, I just have to find it. This 
is what I wrote. Trust. So I said, what is happening to me? This is on the 1st of August. And I said to Spirit, what is happening to me? For several days, I have been feeling very unwell, off color, malaise, little red dots on my skin, exhausted. And I've been tested for dinghy fever. You see, what I've noticed throughout this ascension path, when energy comes in, I get like little red pinprick dots all over my skin, all over my body. And this worried me a little bit at times. And it worried me when I was feeling so lousy in Bali. So I, because I'd had a few mosquito bites a few days before and they were quite itchy, I thought, oh no, I've got the dreaded dinghy fever mosquito has bitten me because they come out during the day and they only bite you during the day. So I went off to the hospital and I got tested for dinghy fever. I didn't have dinghy fever. But this is what spirits say when I said, I don't know, blood tests are normal. Spirit said this, you are now beginning three days of rapid advancement. These three days are very important as the energy changes will create a template for a complete restructuring of your physical body. Every cell of your body is being refashioned and reformed and remade anew. You are physically being remade anew into a new cellular structure of greater light. And I have to say now, two months later, I really, really feel that. And I really have noticed incredible changes in my body. And this is what I want to pass on to you is that as we walk this path, we don't always feel that great, but there is an incredible golden light at the end of it. And now I know that as I repetitively listen to the beautiful tracks and, and I'm also testing out a beyond beautiful recording that it, this light of the soul, because beautiful is designed to bring the light of the soul through the physical body, is actually radiating, 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 and making me feel better than ever before. And it's been wonderful. So, and I only went, I pushed the envelope, you see, and I was listening three times a day. So I was detoxing more. So having said that, I want to begin this process with you because spirit didn't take me through this process of physical regeneration and walking the path of the soul as traveled to have me sit on my hands and not share it that's what we're doing we're sharing it tonight so let's share i'm just going to sit because i think you can't see me very well let's bring your hands like this give thanks for whatever journey you're on right now Give thanks for the experiences that you're experiencing. Understand that as we are in October 2019, we are all going through a preparation. And that preparation is different for everyone. Some of you will be having little tests in your relationships. Some of you may be experiencing a feeling of, I don't want to do this work anymore. Some of you might be feeling just a sense of being utterly flat, like it's almost like you want to beam up, that you just can't be in this body anymore and you don't see the point. But there is a point, and the point is that we're on the cusp, all of us, of incredible ascension upgrade and change. And this is really going to begin from January 2020 and beyond. And this is why Spirit have stuck me in Bali, basically, which wasn't a bad place to be because it was very beautiful and you know, as you can see in the pictures just before we started, it's a gorgeous place to be. You just have to feel good. So I, as I went through this path of the soul less traveled myself, and as I've come out the other side now here in New York, I am now qualified to tell you to keep walking it because there is magic and miracles at the end of this path and you will be transformed and everything that we've worked for, all of us, over the last 20 odd years, and some of you have been on this journey for me, with me for a very long time. I mean, I started this journey in, with Spirit in 1997 when I first went to a Learn to Channel workshop in Auckland, where I lived. And I met a being who told me his name was Balthazar, one of the Magi. And Balthazar, my connection with Balthazar, which was very real to me because I shook madly. Otherwise, I think I wouldn't have believed it because I was. I did have a background in corporate PR, 
which was a bit of a stretch when you're talking about uh, bringing through energies from star systems and extraterrestrial beings and even ascended masters. So Balthazar worked with me for a year and then I got moved along the ranks, if you like, and I worked with others, Yeshua, uh, Archangels, Maitreya, Metatron, Michael, um, Kutumi, Saint Germain, Mary Magdalene, Lady Mary, uh, beings like Isis, Hathor, all of them. I've worked with all of them. And they have taken me on a journey to get to where I feel we're now at so that I can be a conduit for energy from multidimensional sources, from beyond the beyond, from this more expanded gold creation energy source for everybody. And my role is to just take us all on this journey, which is why I've set up the Ascension Library in the first place, because it's a portal for acceleration and advancement. And if you came direct into the Ascension Library tonight, you will see how this portal is actually working, because it's amazing. And it was set up by my son, Rich, who is here in the very early hours of a Perth, Western Australia morning, uh, talking to us now today. So we're going to take some questions in a minute, but I want to summarize a little bit more before we do about the path of the soul is traveled and bring through some energy to help us on this path. You know, the next thing that spirit started to teach me about after I got through the physical ups and downs, they started to teach me about happiness. Because on the 2nd of August, day two of this process of listening three times to beautiful every day for about the last two weeks, they, I said, why am I unhappy? Because I was, I was completely miserable and I felt completely lousy. And they said, because you need to find your joy. I felt overwhelmed. I felt I had too much work to do all the time. I didn't know what I was meant to do anyway. They said, find your joy, find your simplicity, simplicity, peace, a sense of belonging deep within yourself. Don't look for joy out there somewhere. Find what makes you happy within. They said, this is a beautiful day. And it was, it was like eternal summer in Bali and it won't come again. So why do you feel so burdened by life? Now I came to understand that I was burdened by life because my soul was holding on to such a lot of deep seated cellular trauma. Like, I feel like all of you, that we've lived so many lifetimes of trying to get it right and trying to do it. And ever since the time that I was Isayenya on Sirius, before I even came to the earth, I've been trying to do it. And I think I also, I was on Tara in that time of earth beginning when earth was called Tara, before I even was incarnated on Sirius. So there's been all these lifetimes like all of you, we're all together, we're all soul family, where we've been trying to do it and get it right for an eon. And this is what we don't understand is vibrating like a density, a heaviness within us. This is what the beautiful program will remove as it did for me. I found the most change came when I listened to Beauty of Soul. And I did overdose on Beauty of Soul and I did listen to Beauty of Soul three times a day for nine days, which is a lot. And this is when I was going through this process of deep-seated cellular detox. So they said, explore, explore joy, explore what makes you happy. And I did. I walked along that path that you saw on the screen at the beginning every day. And I sat and had a nice coffee and overlooking the rice fields. And I explored what my heart and my soul wanted to tell me and what my authentic truth might be. Because I temporarily lost my way, but I've been working really hard on all the stuff for a very long time. You know, like, you know, you know it, the emails of this, the webinars, the writing, the travel, done it all. But there was a strange sense of slight unhappiness within me. Like, where was my joy? Where was my authentic joy in all this? And some of you might feel the same. So spirit want to bring through this process now to help us all rediscover our authentic joy. And you just sit. 
you put your right hand on your heart chakra here and your left hand on the solar plexus chakra, which is really putting it at, at the level of the core star, which is the core soul vibration in the body because the core star is dimensionally much deeper than the solar plexus chakra, but it's roughly in the same place. It's at the core of your being. So just be, the spirit always tell me, just be, be like a sponge and let the energy of God, of source of all that is, soak into you and transform you. Those words, sa, 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 they actually mean our ascended self. So what's happening now with the sa, 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 sa words is that our ascended soul self is, is, is anchoring more. It's like it's flowing more into the physical. And the thing about the soul is the soul never, the soul never gets stressed. <laughs> Only human beings get stressed. So the soul self is allowing a sense of peace and authenticity, uh, to authenticity to flow into us better. So just sit and be and receive. Because it's time, you know. These last three months of 2019 are the, the completion for many of you, probably all of you on the call, of all this karmic stuff. There may be some hiccups, little hiccups in the time ahead, but this is just because we're shedding even deeper levels of the snake skin. The snake skin is the snake skin of the inauthenticity of the personality self, the karmic stuff that we've all taken on as human beings, but it's not the real soul self. <laughs> That means you are loved, you are blessed. And so it is. You are loved, you are blessed. And so it is. So what I really got to see as I went through this two-month process of change in Bali, not feeling that great most of the time, that I was really being forced through the process to go to, to a deeper level of trust and surrender. Like, I had no choice really. I was there on my own most of the time. And I just had to go through it and go into it. And it did have, it's, as I said, it's a pretty nice place to be. So it did have its rewards. <laughs> and then I went to India. And when I went to India, I went to do a part of the Soul Less Travelled workshop in Mumbai, a set of teachings. And these set of teachings are already in the Ascension Library under a category called the Path of the Soul Less Travelled. And so the entire one day event in Mumbai, which is a lot of information and energy transmissions and a meditation which will take you into the stillness of yourself is there for everybody to access in the Ascension Library. So this whole thing about the Ascension Library is that the, the energy, the transmissions, the work, the upgrades, everything that is coming through from Spirit from now on is going to be so fast and so rapid and so ever-changing that there's no way you can create a program and just sell it in your store because 
it's changing by the next week. And so the best possible thing that I can do is to create an energy portal where everybody can access it in the privacy of your own home. And my commitment is to get on this portal at least once a month, once a month and talk to you. And it is entirely free to members, free to essential library members. And, you know, we're looking at how we get it out to everybody. But I do have lemon juice in the water because lemon juice will help to detoxify any of the uh, releasing energies that the body will always release as the light comes in. See, as the light comes in, it comes in through the central vertical current of our body, the Shoshumna channel, which is aligned with the spine, straight though, and this energy current, which is the main energy feed line of the body, spins through the chakras, beginning at the crown chakra, third eye, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, etc. But we get a lot of energy now, for the large part, we get most of this transformative energy just coming through feeder lines of light that uh, have been called axiotonal lines. But really, they're feeder lines of light that come in to all the acupuncture points of the body and into the body's meridian system. And this energy, these lines of light, connect us with multidimensional realities. We are not just human beings. Since about 2006, these axiotonal lines, these feeder lines of light, have been opening in people. Part of my work that I did 10 or 15 years ago, very much, was opening up people's axiotonal lines, the, the energy connection lines. And now these energy connection lines stretch from us as open-ended energy systems all the way through this Milky Way galaxy, all the way to this more expanded source vibration energy. And we're going to be working now with light to ensure that they are fully open and to pull energy through. What you might feel as I do this is more energy coming into the body. Also, as we go through this program tonight, don't be concerned if you suddenly feel very tired, like you might feel very tired with some of the energy that's coming through. You won't feel tired by the end of the program tonight, but you may feel tired during it because what's happening is that there is this light, this energy that's rushing in and, and your body may not be used to handling this energy and that can make you feel temporarily a little bit fatigued. So let's have a little break now and answer some questions. And just a reminder, 